All right, so for the clarinet, um, this is actually one of the hardest setups. I would say clarinet and trombone have the hardest setups in the beginning, but once you get used to it, right, you could do it all within 40 seconds or so. Okay, the first thing you want to do before even uh, opening up the case, if you have your uh, reeds handy, right, you want to put down your uh, flat side of the reed, flat side of the reed, not the round side with the leopard print and all that cool stuff, right? The flat side, right? And put down in your, on your tongue, right? And um, I know some uh, clarinet players, some reed players, right, saxophone players even, right, they just put it inside a little shot glass with some water, right, if it grosses you out, you know, or whatever. Uh, but you, mo most players, you know, they just want to do this real quick, right? I'm going to set this down um, only because, uh, because I need to talk to you, right? Okay, but this should be in your mouth at all times, right, uh, while you're setting up. Okay, so you pick up your case, right? Okay, so this can be your chair, it could be your bed, it could be a stool. Uh, doesn't really matter, right? Um, and uh, just look at the latches. The latches should be facing downwards, right? Um, almost every single case has this kind of situation where yeah, you got these uh, tongues, right? Okay, that's where your thumb goes or your middle fingers, right? Depending on how you lift it, okay? All right, so it should hang over like so, right? That way you know when you open it, it's not gonna be all upside down and unhappy, right? All injured, okay? So you flip it open, right? You take the bell. The bell, right? This is called the bell. Okay, I recommend it w uh, with with uh, seventh graders, right? Especially since uh, you have little bodies, right, that are going to get stronger every day. Uh, you put it on your belly button, okay? Then you take the longer one, right? Which one's longer? This one, right? This one's longer and it's thicker, right? So you take this, okay? And you see the cork? That's going to go in here. Now, if you find that when you take this um, and you try to put it in and it takes too much effort, because you don't want to grab this, uh, all these metal pieces, right, and bend them, okay? So if this is too difficult, that's what this thing's for, right? Okay, you put a little bit on, right, just a little tiny bit, right? I'm just show you once, right? And you could do this on all the cork pieces, right? Um, you only really need to do this maybe once every two weeks or so, right? And put that down, right? Okay, and then what you do is, in a screwing motion, Right, you do that, right? And don't worry about this stuff. It's not toxic or anything. You just wipe it on your clothes and nobody will notice. Okay, now the next piece, okay? This is a lower joint, the bell. Lower joint, bell, right? You've got to know the terminology. Pick up the um, upper joint, okay? Now, which way does it go? There's a very specific way I want you guys to hold it, okay? And it's this, okay? See what I'm talking about? Okay. So, you see these little mushroom pieces on the side? Your knuckles actually play those. Your middle finger will press the larger ring, okay? So, let me put that down and show you. Put it down and show you guys again, okay? See these? That's gonna face downwards. So you pick it up, okay? All right, and then you put your middle finger on the larger ring. You see the larger ring? Okay, that lifts up this bridge. This is what causes most of the repair bills that we get, okay? So if you do this correctly, this should lift up and you connect it to the other bridge. You see what I'm talking about, right? So this needs to go in there. You don't wanna turn this all the way around because look how oh, the metal pieces knock up against you. That's bad, right? So you go wiggle, 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 and drop. Okay, and should line up perfectly right there. Now, if I'm not gonna be there to show you, you're gonna have to check this yourself, okay? Let me show you one more time, okay? So, you pick this up, right? Okay, and then you put your middle finger on the, okay, my left middle finger on the larger ring. Okay, lift up the bridge. You see all these button mushroom pieces, these enoki kind of uh, mushroom pieces, yeah. Okay, so you're gonna make this line up with that. Okay, so you gotta press your middle finger, your middle finger, right, in, okay, and wiggle, 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 and connect. That's the most important thing to putting your instrument together. Connects your upper joint with your lower joint. Okay? All right, so how do you know how to hold this thing, huh? Okay, well, this thumb rest right here is supported on your right thumb, okay? And your left thumb is going to cover the one and only hole in the back. Okay? Most of the time it's gonna do that. Okay, so your right hand, left hand. All woodwind instruments are the same, right? If I were playing a flute, right, look like this, right? With the right hand away from my face and the left hand towards me. Okay, but I'm a clarinet player, so I'm, it's gonna be like that. Okay, so next up, you take the barrel. 
You see the fatter end of the barrel? I'm holding it upside down right now. Clip it, okay? Bottom, fatter on the bottom. Okay, that's got a big butt right in the small neck. Okay, in a screwing motion, okay, once again, against your tummy, right? You turn this. Make sure you don't turn everything else because this is gonna go all out of whack. Okay, so you're turning this, okay? Put some cork grease on over here if you need to. Okay, but I just did last week, so it should still be pretty good. All right, now, next piece. I'm gonna grab my mouthpiece. You see the cork? Okay, you see the one and only hole in the back, right? This is gonna go down on my, the rest of my instrument on the narrow part of the uh, barrel. Okay, so this hole lines up with, this hole lines up with thumb. Okay, the thumb rest. Once again, mouthpiece hole, single hole in the back, okay? Oh, this is the F hole, <laughs> okay, and then your right thumb on the thumb rest, okay? So over here, okay, you press it downwards, make sure it's aligned, you can all you can actually just point it, right, and see how everything aligns. Okay, now, this was in your mouth all this time, right? Mm -hmm. Take the flat side, you see the flat, flat side where it's all one color? Not the round side, not the fun side, right, but the flat side. You slap it against, this mouthpiece, okay? And you leave a little tiny bit of black on the top. Okay, a little bit of black on the top, right? And as you get more experience, you'll know exactly how your mouth is shaped and how much you like it, um, you know, with the black showing, okay, a little bit or a little bit more, okay? Now, with one hand, okay, hold it in place, okay? And this is what's uh, really hard for a lot of uh, seventh graders to, to, uh, to coordinate. You take the other one, it's like one of those games at the carnival, right? You just drop it in. Okay, now, this should be kind of loose. This is called the ligature. Read, mouthpiece, read, ligature. This should be a little bit loose. Okay, it's always good practice to uh, keep this nice and loose like so. Okay, because if it's tightened, then it won't even go down, right? Okay, so you want this to all go all the way to, okay, a good level. Now, how do you know? See this knuckle right here? If this is too tight, it won't go down for you. Okay, and it'll stick out like this. The metal shouldn't stick out beyond the knuckle, right? You see what I'm talking about? Okay, my reed is a little out of whack here. Okay, all right, there should be a, a knuckle right here. If you, uh, if it's too tight, then you can simply loosen it a little bit. Now, with these, like all things um, that have to do with your instrument, if you loosen it way too much, it just falls apart and you'll lose the pieces. Don't do that, okay? It's just meant to loosen a little bit, okay? Look at how much I have sticking out right here, okay? So this is hard to coordinate for a lot of uh, seventh graders, okay? In fact, I'm gonna do it for you one more time, okay? So here we go, okay? Here's the mouthpiece. Here's the reed that's been, um, you know, getting nice and juicy for you, okay? Now you take this, okay? Hold it with one hand, try it, hold it still, drop the other piece on, okay? You gotta practice this a few times a few dozen times for those of you with, uh, you know, um, coordination that uh, needs to be worked on, right? Here's the knuckle. Okay, here's the knuckle right here, and here's the metal, right? You see that? Okay. All right. Now, how tight does this need to be? Seventh graders always ask me every year. Tight enough for it to hold in place, but not so tight that it rips through the metal, okay? All right. So how do you hold this thing? Okay. Thumb, right thumb on the thumb rest. Okay, and the only three holes right here. Okay, and we're gonna work on covering up all the holes here. Okay, and then with your left thumb, you're covering up the left hole. Okay, and then it's gonna be pretty obvious. It's gonna be a ring, a ring, and a hole right here. Okay, and you can test the sound. That's the way I should look in Zoom space. So when we have our sessions together, okay, notice that the bell is off the screen. That's perfectly fine. I don't need to know. I, I trust that your bell's there, okay, but I do need to see all of your fingers, okay? So three fingers and a pinky, three fingers and a pinky, right? And most of your face, right? So that we can interact and, and all that stuff, okay? That's the way you should look on Zoom space. Okay, real fast breaking down the instrument. Okay, what I would do first is loosen, loosen. Um, the uh, ligature, like so, right? Not so much that it falls off, but just loosen it enough, all right? 
and put that down, put the reed down, okay, uh, get ready to put that reed in the space, okay? Okay, and you do that. Okay, if you have a cleaning kit, um, I'll show you how to use that in a different video, okay? Then you would do it now, okay? But you take the mouthpiece and you put it down exactly where it went, okay? And you take the barrel and you screw it off, okay? It just takes a little light pressure. Okay, now, very important, take your middle finger, same procedure, take your middle finger on the upper joint, big ring, and lift the bridge. You see that little bridge lifting off? That's to ensure that you don't cause any damage, okay? Now, you wiggle it off. Don't go, bam, right, and have the, the metal collide. Don't do that, okay? So you wiggle it off, okay, and you find its home. Is it here or here? Which one looks right? This one, right? Okay, okay, and then you take this, okay, try to avoid, you know, grabbing monster grip on any metal pieces because they get, can, can easily get bent, right? And you wiggle this off, bell goes there, and, and goes down that way, okay? For some of the case, it's really obvious. What do you do with this reed? Well, if you decide to store it in your case, that's perfectly fine. You can just uh, find one of the pockets and leave it here, or you can simply just leave it on your desk where you're going to be practicing. Ligature, important, don't lose this piece. Put it back around, okay? Close the case, and hide it from your little brothers and sisters. All right, once again, that's me in Zoom space, right? I should look like that, okay? So get your workplace, uh, your, your practice uh, area set up so that you can actually look like that on screen. All right, guys.